questions for Kawhi, we'll start here with John. Kawhi, uh, John Schumann, NBA.com over here on your right. Can you take us through uh, the final shot um, from when you caught the ball and you're maybe looking for a spot to, to get to, to get, you, get the shot off, and then you released it high. I think, I, I assume, to get the ball over um, and bead, um, but maybe, or to maybe give it a softer bounce on the rim. I don't know. Can you just take us through your, your thinking on that final play? Um, we ran a similar play during the Magic series, and um, I ended up just shoot, catching, shooting the ball. And um, it was probably about like three seconds. So I just remember that moment and knowing that I had time to at least pump fake or take a dribble. So, um, you know, he drew up the play again tonight. And uh, it was four seconds left. And I believe that, um, you know, like I said, remembering that moment, I knew I had some time to try to get some space rather than just catch and shoot the ball. But um, I ended up catching it and just trying to get to a space so I'll get the shot off, like you said, and B was guarding me. Uh, he's taller, longer than me. So, you know, end up finding a spot that I, you know, like, uh, that I work on. I end up getting to a spot. And I just knew I had to shoot it high. Um, a couple possessions before that, I uh, had the same kind of shot from three. It ended up coming short. And, you know, I just thought I had to put it up even higher than that. And, end up getting a soft touch and going in. Uh, down front and to your left. <coughs> Kawhi, I'm Mike Bond from USA Today. Um, four, 39 field goal attempts tonight. Can you just talk about your mentality coming in here and, you know, just putting up that many shots? I knew it was game seven, and I didn't want to leave no shots uh, in my mind. I just wanted to go out and leave it all on the floor. Um, this could have been my last game for the season and you know I would have had to wait five five months, four months to put another shot shot up in a game. So I was gonna leave it all out on the floor tonight and not worry about makes or misses and still just, you know, try to will us to a win or just get to my spots. I'm gonna go to Dave who's standing up into your right core. Kawhi, Dave McCrenman, ESPN. After the way things ended for you last season in, in San Antonio, how satisfying has this postseason run been uh, playing for the Raptors? It's been great, but, you know, after the regular season was over, I was pretty much proud of myself and, you know, what I had accomplished throughout the regular season. And obviously going into the playoffs, um, you know, everybody's ready to play. This team is, uh, you know, hungry to reach a goal that we've been striving for all year. And, you know, just being able to, what I've, you know, been went through um, last year with the injury. And, you know, just believing in myself and knowing what I'm feeling. You know, just taking my time. And, you know, I was able to, you know, get healthy and, uh, you know, feel feel right. Me was feeling good. And, you know, I was able to play at the start of the season. I'm going to go to Michael Grange, who's in the back and to your right. Kawhi, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Um, you know, when you hit that shot and it's kind of bouncing, bouncing on the rim, and then it goes down, you just get swarmed <laughs> by your teammates. I mean, what was that experience like, just just be making it in front of your own bench and being able to share it with those guys? It was great. You know, um, that's something I never experienced before, um, getting seven game-winning shot. So it was, um, you, know, you know, a blessing to just be able to, you know, get get to that point and make that shot and feel that moment. And it's something, um, you know, I could look back on in my career. We'll go to Bruce, who's uh, in the middle there. Bruce Arthur from the Toronto Star, right down the middle here, Kawhi. Um, on a night, that was, by the way, that was the first uh, buzzer beating Game 7 winner in NBA history, so no one had ever felt that before. Um, all night, this was a game where a lot of people struggled with shots. You had shots that you been very comfortable taking all season that just didn't go. What was it about this game that made it difficult um, from beginning pretty much to the end? You know, Sixers is a, was a great team, um, very talented. Um, 
just game seven, you know. You're playing against a team like that, a team like us. Uh, no one wants to lose. And, you know, everything's on the line. And you don't want to make no defensive mistakes to give the opponent a, an opportunity to score an easy look. And I just feel like both teams played that way on both ends of the floor. And, and unfortunately, we, sh we ended up winning this game shooting 38%. And, you know, it was a grind. You know, like you said, guys didn't make <clears throat> good shots, <clears throat> wide open shots early. And we just kept fighting, we kept swinging, kept shooting. And eventually, eventually in the fourth quarter, we knocked some down in our big. Uh, we'll go to Greg, who's standing up at the back. Kawhi, uh, I don't think many people around here have seen that kind of emotion out of you at any time throughout this season. Uh, I'm sure you've had moments like that, but can you just, for you, just talk about what that release was like? Uh, just, I mean, what it felt like and, and what you're feeling right now? Uh, you know, pretty much. I'm a guy that acts like I've been there before. So probably the last time you probably see me scream is like when we won. So whenever it's like a moment where I haven't really experienced, I'll probably try to give some emotion, show some emotion and let it let it just come out. So, you know, tonight was one of those nights. I've never been in that situation before. And like you said, um, it's the first shot. Somebody hit a game winner in, NBA, in game seven. So I just showed emotion. <clears throat> and it was great. It was a great feeling. I'm just happy that we can move on to the next round. Uh, we'll go to Sirat, who's standing up and to your right as well. Sirat Sohi, Yahoo Sports. Was there any extra bit of gratification in hitting that shot after missing that free throw? Uh, definitely. You know, I was very mad. I tried to race down and get a rebound. Probably should have sprinted back um, to give some help on that layup Jimmy made. But after that, I was just like, whatever play you draw up, I'm about to get to my spot and, and shoot it, shoot it with confidence. And, you know, you know things happen for a reason, I guess. And then went down. Uh, last couple questions. Standing up at the back to your left, Kawhi. Kawhi Zarita from EBC Sports Philippines. Can you just touch on what it's like playing in an environment like the Toronto fan base? It was great. You know, we, we needed them tonight. You know, when we got leads, they screamed defense. Uh, we're screaming the whole time. It was amazing. You know, uh, when guys are shooting free throws, they're screaming the loudest they can. It was a fun experience, you know. Um, they've been great all year. We needed them, man. You know, that's what we fought for all year is getting that game seven, um, you know, at home if we get to that point. And, you know, tonight they were big for us. Thanks very much, everyone. <clears throat>